Hey everybody, Eagle Run 2-3 here. No surprises today. 6.5 Grendel is the caliber of the day, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about with this caliber. I'm going to try to keep the videos short. Uh, we've been getting a little carried away, but uh, uh, it's so exciting, and I'm learning so much stuff. Uh, before we begin here, shout out to Bear Creek Arsenal for making these videos possible. Uh, they have some specials in their deals den. You can pick up all of these things that we're talking about here in the 15 days of AR-15. Uh, this was their idea that they sent to me. I thought it sounded like a lot of fun. I always love to learn and uh, figure stuff out. And so that's why we're here. Last thing for you is the November giveaway is over and I have not drawn a winner yet, but uh, I'll be sending out an email with that information very soon. We'll probably also uh, add it into a video here once I've drawn that name. I just have not drawn the name yet. So the end of November was just really wild and I just did not get a name drawn. Sorry about that. I have a 16 inch 8.6 blackout that's gonna be going to a lucky winner. If your email is at eaglerun23.com and you've subscribed to my email list and you're getting my emails, uh, that is the only way to uh, get entered. I'm just picking uh, a winner from the list. There's no purchase necessary. Okay, the uh, 6.5 Grendel, take a peek at that beauty. So this is uh, some Starline brass loaded by our friends at Aiken Arms, and uh, they've made some Grendel. Now, I don't think they have this Grendel in stock. Uh, they sent this to me when I was getting some 8.6 Blackout stuff from them, uh, but the code EagleRun23 will save you money at Aiken Arms, which is pretty cool. I had heard of it, I didn't know that much about it, uh, but I was interested. So I saw his AR build and it was really great. Uh, that season, his son got hogs and deer and uh, it was it worked really well for him. Uh, primarily speaking, the Grindle is great because of recoil. So you're still getting a pretty big bullet. These are 123 grain and uh, you're still getting a pretty good sized bullet. You're still getting really great velocity. Uh, these say they're loaded to 1700 feet per second, but I've seen people go way past that, especially with the lighter green stuff. You can run down to, I think, 90s or 80s in the Grendel. You can run pretty small, 6.5. And the 6.5 is the uh, 264 caliber conversion, so uh, 6.5 millimeters, 2, 0.264 inches. So I've done a couple of videos on Grendel and why I chose it and why I like it. Grendel has been a staple on our channel here since uh, probably since the spring of this year. Uh, we finished a gun early in the year and then we made a second one this summer. The main reason why I chose this, in my opinion, this is the optimal caliber for the AR-15. Uh, it is everything that the 5.56 isn't. It's better in almost every single way. Uh, the price is the only thing that keeps it from just being the, the goat of the AR-15. So the, so the prices on these, you can find them as low as 90 cents around, but most likely you're going to be paying about a buck 20 around. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. You could get them quite a bit cheaper a couple of years ago, but, uh, such is life. One of the reasons I like it, it is inherently accurate. Uh, you've got a nice size case there with this improved shoulder design, pretty cool design. Uh, I think they look great as well. They're just kind of a cool looking round. Other reason why I like it is I have redundancy issues for me of 6.5 Grendel and 6.5 Creedmoor are pretty cool as a reloader. Uh, I can run some of the same bullets between the two and as a prepper, that's always valuable for me. I have not started reloading this caliber yet. I've had uh, quite a bit of factory ammo headed my way. And so we've been shooting through that, but I'm saving all of my brass. We're gonna do a push on reloading this Grendel here pretty soon. And I'll be working with uh, a couple of other channels on that project as uh, we kind of learn how to reload the 6.5 Grendel. Uh, make sure you're following Eagle Reloads for reloading content. Just a couple days ago, we talked about the 6 Arc and how it was a little bit faster, um, potentially had a little bit more energy downrange, uh, the 300 yard. This is a medium range pushing towards the long range capabilities. And for most of us inside of a thousand yards, uh, this would be a great choice for you. The recoil is very light, and so you're able to see your impacts uh, pretty well to help you get dialed in. It can hunt, it can target shoot, it's accurate, it's powerful. Uh, the 6.5 Grendel is a great caliber. You should definitely check it out and add one to you. Uh, you are a upper receiver swap away from this being in your AR-15. Now, the latest news for you on the Grendel, as far as my channel is concerned, we have finally had some feeding issues with just running the standard P-Mags with that are, you know, that are set up for 5.56. Uh, 
Uh, we finally had some feeding issues. I, I guess I've been lucky so far. I ordered in some magazines and we're gonna be testing those. I have two different magazines and then I ordered in a 3D printed follower that goes into a PMAG. So we're gonna try that out as well. I'll let you guys know the results and see how it works. But you probably can get away with running this in a standard magazine. Uh, it's just the follower that is the problem. The way they stack in there versus a 556, uh, they just don't line up with that follower very well, which, which makes sense. I'm excited about Grindle. It's going to be on the channel for a while. Uh, let me tell you real quick about the two builds that I have, and then you can run back and check some of our videos. When you click on my channel, you can just hit the little search thing, and you can search my channel and just punch in Grindle. Uh, probably have about a half a dozen videos on Grindle. So we have a 20-inch that is a beautiful gun, uh, very high-end, trigger tech trigger. We have an Odinworks barrel, o Odinworks bolt. Uh, it's got a tracked optic on it. That thing is really nice and it shoots unbelievable. It is a sub quarter inch gun for me at 100 yards and that's that's been really repeatable as well. This summer, we got in touch with a company called Tactical Ordnance and they make custom rifle barrels, custom twists, the whole deal. They wanted to make a barrel for us and do a gun build. So I put together another really beautiful, my Grindles are my most beautiful guns. The Grindle that has the tactical ordnance barrel and bolt is Midnight Bronze from Faxon Firearms, upper and lower. And then we have a Faxon handguard. And right now it has a trigger that is a two-stage trigger from AT3 Tactical. I really like that trigger. And for the money, it punches way above its weight class. I've recently hooked up with a new trigger manufacturer and we're going to get some of their triggers in. I can't wait to tell you about it because it's unbelievable what they're doing with triggers now. All right, I've got to get back to work. Got so much to do today, but I could not skip a day talking about the 6.5 Grindle. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're on the email list so you can win the giveaway. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.